Welcome to the Hayworth Music Podcast. Hey, everyone. Hey. We're well into the 30s as far as episodes go. Oh, almost middle-aged. I know. That's right. <laughs> it's maturing well. Yes. Uh, I've got the big GH here. What's up, everyone? Good to be back. Big GH, back in the house. Two yeah. weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back from... Uh, starting, starting to get a little archy in the routine now. Yeah. And... You know all about that, mate. Yeah, your kids, I know, yeah. get them in yell. the routine. He's got to yell. He's got to yell. <laughs> got to discipline them. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Do it early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get in the you stop your crying. <laughs> Four week old baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, good to be back, mate. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And uh, um, we got Big Nick Elliott here. That's yes. me. Podcast fan favorite. Oh, I just. And every... now it's. And now it's. Like well, there's visual. I know. That's right. Oh, it's it's going to blow up. It's yeah. going to be like a internet celebrity. It's the. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day as well. It is. Did you remember? I did. Now I did right not. Now <laughs> I did not. <laughs> now that you've reminded me, but I lucked out because my wife also forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Greg's got a look on his face as though we he don't forgot. do it. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> that we don't really do Valentine's Day anymore. I, I don't know. It's like another day. Isn't yeah, it? Like well, once you've been married a while, it's like I don't know. You know, shouldn't have to have, have a day to, yeah, to every day to buy your wife flowers. Day, isn't it? You know. Yeah. <laughs> It's flowers just growing on the side of the highway. But this flowers just gonna, <laughs> flowers is going to die. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, yeah, that's all we. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so deep. That's your yeah. way to start the So podcast. last week, la- this time last week, <laughs> yep. you were in uh, the Big Smoke. I was. I was heading up big to old the smoky. old uh, and, Sydney um, town. To see what, what's to go with uh, this new Ibanez. Yeah. Just tell me, what, what happened? Well, Where'd you go? I what went to see? the uh, Australis... Headquarters in HQ. Sydney, HQ. Yeah, yeah. the uh, it's a big place. Yeah. yeah, there's like they got like a bit of a uh, studio behind where they had set up all the new Ibanez models. Yeah. Cool. So they're, um, they're our supplier for Ibanez. For anyone who doesn't know, so yeah. they're the importer of Ibanez yeah. in Australia. Um, yeah. What, so what, 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 what was there? What, what do we need? I took. I actually ended up taking a photo person. of a bunch of them. Yeah. Um, one that a lot We're of on a podcast though, so <laughs> people can't it's, see. It's, it's, <laughs> it's an audio <laughs> format. <laughs> Um, one people that a lot, uh, one model that a lot of people would have already seen probably online from from the Nam show and that sort of thing is the uh, AZ two four two F, which is that Premium Tequila Sunrise one? one. Yeah, that bad boy, which everyone's yeah. everyone's loving. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that we've got in. Isn't that's it? right. Yeah, we just got one in the well, shop. We have that. Yeah, yeah. Came down Shut yesterday. Up. Yeah. It may yeah. it may already be sold. We're not really sure, yeah, but okay. we'll be getting more. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. All right, that's my pick of of. The new so describe models. it to people like, who can't see so it. So it's like imagine you just go into a bar and you've ordered a tequila sunrise, yeah, yeah. and you got that lovely like dark, deep red, orange to to kind of light yellow fade. Yeah. That's what this guitar it's like a cocktail looks like. It is like a cocktail yeah. in a guitar. Yeah. I want to drink it. Yeah, it makes me thirsty looking at it. Yeah. It's it's awesome. It's, it reminds um, me of those um, SG, Gibson SGs. Was it Fireburst? What was that? What was that? Oh model yeah, they did? it was Fireburst. Yeah. The model they, they did, did, yeah. So it sort oh, of fades from like a from like the a, bottom of the top, sort from of the thing. bottom to yeah. the top, like a real mm. bright red down the bottom, and fades into like a bright yellow at the top. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean. Ibanez have always, well, particularly in the last probably three years, been ahead of the game in terms of finishes yeah, and a oh, lot of things. Yeah, but yeah. and the just, pricing that they yeah, do, yeah, that's right. The, the finishes um, that they have look like they should be on guitars. Exactly, that that's like it. Four thousand dollars, and they're, they're like, "How much is this?" It's like you know, eight hundred bucks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. We always talk about it. Hey, yeah. like we're just like that. They just punch so they look good, well they above their weight. Good. Yeah, well, well um, priced. The Ibanez. That's stuff. right. Good value. Really, for money. really good. Um, so it's like a two two humbucker model, but with a fly, five way switch. So you oh, got the, the coil tap. Yeah, yeah, like my um, S series. And then it's also got a switch on there, which is similar to like the S one switch from Fender, which which gives you Watch a bunch of different rockets. combinations. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you don't want to touch it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah. Um, but basically, gives you different ah. combinations with you know you can have the very back single coil pickup and the very front one um, oh, on as well as like all of them like that sort of thing it's it's pretty pretty impressive I was actually going through all of it yesterday yeah um, just your standard sort of like Strat style trim yeah. on it um, no Floyd no Floyd yeah. which you know it's good would, times yeah that's right yeah depends what you want to do I suppose but um no dive bombing on it yeah that's right. it's definitely in a stay in tune <laughs> yeah yeah um, and then they've got that vintage 
Ibanez headstock from like the eighties, oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it's like it's a nat- just a natural finish. Yeah, with that's a really right. Big, big logo. Ibanez. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and the neck on him is is it ro- I think it's roasted maple or something. Oh, right. yeah, 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 like okay. so it's like or like torrified maple. I think they yeah. call it. Yeah. Um, so they basically go through a process of drying out the timber. Is that for um, the fingerboard? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so okay. it goes all the way. It actually goes rosewood all the way through. No longer exists. That's right. So there's yeah. actually that's another th- interesting thing to mention. There's no rosewood on any Ibanez model this year yeah. but I walking through that room looking you at every model it. you wouldn't you wouldn't know yeah. like it's they've like they've used Ebony which you know every guitar like company's used for a while stuff but like that would still have Ebony that's right Ebony fingerboards or they've got like as you were saying they've, what was that one well New some Zealand of the cheap ones like the cheaper like AX ones that are you know your $500 ones mm. have, are using like a yeah like a New Zealand yeah. pine and um, the premiums have like a, is it Wenge yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. And they just, so, yeah, yeah. Um, like not uh, some, like some of them a bit far out, but others. Well, you some know, of them are using are you, using are uh, used a fair bit. Australian is it Victorian blackwood on on a couple of the models we've had in as well. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Yeah. And so yeah, they're using a few Australian timbers. Yeah, well, we've got good, good, good bloody timbers got here, mate. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Bloody good timbers. Ask, just ask Cole Clark, mate. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's it. So, so yeah, like heaps of that's yeah. So heaps of cool like new fingerboard materials and that sort yep. of thing. Um, looking at them, a lot of them you wouldn't know that they're not rosewood because they basically do the same sort of thing. Like they, like I think they call it torrifying. Where okay. They, where they kind they of sort of treat it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. um, so it's got that hardness of rosewood and the same sort of sound. But yep. um, in that whole series of those those are uh, AZ series, which they've revamped this oh, year. Yeah, there's just yeah. there's probably five or six different models. Yeah. So the um, AZ. Um, ones are more like your, like they're like a HH, uh, is it like a HSS so, yeah, style Yeah, H- you got thing? HSS they're and kind of like HH. fat strat exactly. set up, but like in an RG. Yeah, that's but right. Th- do they use, they have like flame tops and stuff on them? Or yeah, that's it. Thing? Yeah. Yeah, so flame tops and they do, do, they do a few different ones as well. finishes and, and yeah. that sort of thing. That same sort of like, like we were saying, that tequila sunrise finish, they do like yeah. a blue one yeah. um, in the HSS style. We've and had, had a fair got, few yeah. um, pre-sales for those. Mm. Already, actually. Yeah. So yeah. we've got the we've got Matt New coming in today mm. from Australis, and we're going to sit down and talk Ibanez. So, what ones are you keen to get, Nick? So, the, the my kind of top picks, I actually took like uh, took them all down pretty much. Um, definitely one of the new multi multi scale oh, multi scale, yeah, yeah, which, which is really really yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, I reckon they're going to they be big hit this year. Multi scale, do so that's like your fan fret. They're like a fan oh, fret, yeah. but that's they're like, um, yeah. they're cheaper. That's right. It's like. Eighteen ninety nine retail. Yeah. Like so you're not yeah. spending like four or five grand. Like you get those boutique companies that yeah. do the fan frets and that yeah. and you just spend yeah. a ton of money on those. When we were putting the pre sale um, stuff up on the website, yeah. Sav and I were looking at those just like Whoa. Yeah, that's right. They're and gonna it's, be hot. That R G they call them R G D, but it's like the RGAs from from the last year's model with the like cutouts. Cutty that's exactly right. Things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you got like the the kind of uh cutouts along the edges so they're really comfortable body to play and, and then stuff. you got yeah. so they kind of uh, they look really, super, um, super mean. That's right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, really, really cool. So that's definitely one of my my big picks. Um, those uh, those ones I was just talking about. The cool thing with fan fret as well, you can kind of be a bit uh, like taken back when you look at it and go, yeah. oh, I'm going to have to learn how to play guitar yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it's crazy. You can seriously blindfold yourself <laughs> yeah. and just do it, and all, and you'll be playing it totally normal. Hey, it doesn't yeah. feel any different, except you always tend to be hitting. You know, the exact right spot on the fingerboard. That's right. Mm. Like, yeah. y- so it's like it follows you, the way your hand wants to go. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah totally. Like, like yeah. Uh, I'd never played one before mm. until like that's a couple right. of years Arden ago. Brought out those acoustic ones, yeah. that sort of thing. And, so. and you play it and go, oh, yeah. you don't even think about that, yeah, yeah. The, that it's got fan fret. That's yeah. right. And so for those people who don't know what a fan fret is, it's basically the fan, the frets kind of like curve along as they go along the the fretboard and the yeah. advantage of so that is that basically yeah they're, they're, yeah they're basically if you're holding the guitar horizontally the the sort of frets around like the sort of eight nine ten frets are like vertical yeah, yeah. that's but right then when you go up the fretboard to like 11 12 they start to fan towards um sort of tilt over towards the, the pickup yeah, sort of thing yeah and then and then if you go down the fretboard to like to like fourth you know Third, second, first, the frets fans sort of towards the headstock. So yeah. 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 And what's the advantage? The there? advantage of that is A, your intonation is pretty much dead on yeah. Uh, yeah. better than you can get on any any like normal fretted guitar. Yeah. Um, as well as you get a longer 
scale on yep. your on your lower notes, which means that if you things like down tuning that sort of thing, you don't lose your your tension, yeah, um, and you get like a better yeah better intonation and better resonance from your yeah. from your lower yeah, strings. Which is super important when you're down tuning because yeah. you down tune your intonation all of a sudden starts to go a bit out of whack. Yeah, and yeah. you know there's so many dudes now playing, you know, in A and yeah, crazy crazy drop tunings, yeah. and they're doing it's uh, I can't remember that multi scale they're doing a seven. They and, do an, a, and an eight. There is an eight, and there's well. also, I think it's multi scale basses, and yeah. there's an, like an eight string, eight string multi scale bass. <laughs> we should get twelve uh, of them, <laughs> <laughs> which are pretty full on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Um, another one of my kind of top picks, which I reckon is just gonna just be flying off the shelves, is the RGR T four two one, which okay. is like a it's like a satin black looking thing, real sort of real plain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really plain. Reverse but headstock. Reverse headstock. So yeah. again, that longer scale on your on your bass notes. And yeah. so if you wanted like a baritone for a guitar, for example, yeah. um, Ibanez haven't released any specific baritone guitars, but these guitars have what, been made to even set them way. up as a baritone. Once again, five way switch. See, that's rad um, because you can buy a baritone and then go like, this is cool, but but I can only use it as a baritone. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, is a good option um, but just yeah just one of those really cool like kind of oiled finishes again um and 999 like you know retail. Oh, really? so like they yeah they mm. don't not going to cost you an arm and a leg yeah. like just good on them just that's it exactly yeah. just, year of the openness. that's right it's just walking through that room yep. with all the new models i'm just like oh, oh i went up to it a couple of years ago yeah. it's so dangerous yeah. it's mm. just you're going it's like, like oh yeah I'll have that one mm. and that one that's it. That one. It's going to be exciting getting these models. So, so like we said, we've got the the rep coming in today from Australia. Yeah. So we're going to put together uh, the new models that yeah. we're going to get in, sh- in yeah. the store. So make sure if you guys are keen on any of the Ibanez stuff, just to get in touch with us. Yeah, you can um, find pretty much everything on the website now. If you yeah, yeah. just even go to the search bar and type in presale, yeah, um, you'll find nearly all of them because most of the shipment is landing uh, at the end of February and early March. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're all cool. pretty much going to come back in the stock. Cool. Um, the last thing that I would mention <coughs> is the new uh, tube screamer as well, oh, which we, yeah. I think we might have mentioned before, which actually has a tube in it, oh. um, which I reckon that's going to be We've massively popular. We've been asked that a lot, haven't we, about tube screamers? Yeah. Yeah. Where's, Where's the tube? tube? Where's yeah. the tube? <laughs> and, like, right. and does it scream? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How yeah, do I make it scream? Yeah. No, yeah. but uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's so cool. that's that. I reckon that's going to just another thing. Like, that's it. They're just always, like I said, ahead of the game Yeah. in every every aspect yeah. like I'll be you curious, can't fault them I'll as a be company curious just to see how that pedal sounds yeah because like the tube stream is obviously super iconic and yeah. people already dig the sound of yeah, that that's right I wonder if because they released the mini one yeah and that was Which, like super popular but yeah. it was ex- exactly the same as yeah. the, the mm. bigger ones are small so mm. I'm keen gonna to open themselves up to a little bit of uh Skepticism, yeah, because you've yeah. got these diehard fans of tube screamers right. already. What we need to do when we get yeah. it, do an, we need to do a comparison do video. AB, yeah. We should, we should yeah. go like yeah. 808, yeah. The, the TS9, TS9 and, and the new mini one, mini and the new yeah. one. Like yeah. the, those are the four most popular models. They do like the DX with like the two channels and that yeah, sort of thing, yeah, but yeah. they're a bit more full on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, those like four kind of core models that just everyone's mm-hmm. everyone's chasing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll definitely cool. do that. Definitely do that. Sounds good. Um, <coughs> Thanks, Nurk. I yeah. thought we'd uh, just quickly get the word out there yeah. uh, that ESP is going on tour. Yeah, and they're coming well, Haywards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a little while off. Mm-hmm. It's in April. April, yeah. yeah. April seventeenth. Uh, so it's I, believe. A, I know it's a Thursday. Yeah, it's on. Uh, there's an event on our Facebook page for right. it now, though. Cool. Um, and. So it's a cool opportunity because, like, not only do you get to like meet all the ESP Australia team mm. who are going to come, yeah. who are like the gurus of ESP in yeah, the country, yeah. Yeah. Um, they run all the. If you're like a fan of the ESP Australia um, mm. Instagram or Facebook or whatever, these are the guys that run it all. Yeah. Um, they do all the artist endorsement stuff. So they're the, these are the guys that are working with the guys from Parkway Drive and that sort of yep, thing yeah. to get their guitars made. Yep. Um, so they're going to be all be here. They're going to have all the new 2018 models. Cool. For, uh, they're going to bring everything, really? and cool. you can try. It. You, everyone can come and try it all out. They're nice. going to do special prices for them mm-hmm. on the night, and yeah. they're going to do a giveaway. They're going to give away an LTD. Cool. Yeah. Am I uh, eligible yeah. to win that? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Unless you quit. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna have it at the Shell Harbour store. That's at the Shell Harbour store. Yeah. Um, so. so it's oh, a little while off. Uh, it's the seventeenth of April. Seventeenth of so April. So I'm sure we'll mention it a few more times. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Be- 
before then and get more details. Yeah. So, but the event is up on the Facebook page, so you can um, so you make sure you yeah say you're coming, and then you'll get all the, the updates as they yeah. as they come up. So, yeah, um, diary. it's very cool. Uh, it's been a little while since we've um, since we've really like done a lot of ESP, and this so this is a mm. I think they've done it maybe the last one or two years. Yeah, um, I've seen them like on social media and everything, and mm. some of the yeah. places they go, and yeah. they just look like. A real like proper show. Yeah. It's like it's like being able to go to like the Nam booth at um, yep, for right. ESP except they bring <coughs> the it straight booth. straight to you. Yeah, I yeah. remember we went last year and that was one that still sticks in the memory. Like they do such a good job with the it. Most yeah. epic like yeah like setup of any of any any yeah. like company that we went and looked it at. Was, like just it? Yeah. it was huge. Yeah, it was like but they go like. Out. Yeah, really, yeah. really cool. Like yeah. heaps yeah. of color, like awesome models, like mad display. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really, really um, a lot of effort put and, in. And uh, you can also see that stuff on the website now yeah. as a presale. So cool. if you go on there and type yeah. in the search bar presale or go to the ESP page, you'll find all that new 2018 stuff. Yeah, and um, pretty much anything that is available yeah. will be will be here to, to try. Cool. Just. Pretty cool. Type in presale on that search bar. You're going to find some good stuff, oh, people. Mm-hmm. That's, hey, that's excitement. That's today. excitement, yeah. Um, and just throw it out there, the new Squire Contemporary range oh, yeah. has landed in the country and will be up on the website later today. Cool. Which so is, ready to cool. order. You cool. can order it now. Which that cool. stuff. We spoke about it, I think, we last week, a couple week of weeks before. Ago, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were talking about those models. So. Let's get some of those yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, Little, little debate before we before we duck off. I said the Zav. What should we debate? What are we in a debate? It's like just go classic amp debate. Classic amp debate. You got to pick one amp. It's going to do everything. Mm. But it has to be either a Vox, a Fender, or a Marshall. Mm. What do you get? What do you get? <coughs> what do you get, Nick? That's Throw one at me. Has to do everything. Like just everything you want it to do, basically. It's, you know, if you're going to play in a cover band and you play everything from oh, Rain okay. and Blood to sort of Slayer to, um, you know, Genie in a Bottle. Can you use yeah. pedals? Police. Yeah. Use pedals no. with it? No pedals. Lead to an amp. Just plug straight into the amp. Yeah. Old school. Yeah. I, uh, I've always, you know, I've always been a big fan of, I've said it on here a few times with the AC-15. Yeah. But we just got the new DSL-40 and the mm. DSL-20 20. in and yeah. I gave that, that 20 a bit of a whirl. Yeah. Has and 20 I only. just I haven't played it yet. I just couldn't go past it. The 20? Like, I own a Blues Junior, so yeah, like, yeah. that's like the three there. Yeah. But if I had to pick, I'd pick that. Probably that Marshall DSL 20 or the 40. Ooh. But the 20 because, you know, it's lighter and yeah. I've mm. got little arms. You know, yeah, yeah, like huge true. legs but little arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always skips arm day. Yeah. Just skips arm day all the time. Yeah. Nothing but legs. He does yeah. have big calves. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was in one of the tuition rooms with him a couple of days ago yeah. and I was like, don't shut that door, man. I trapped me in the, here with those things. <laughs> I'm going to get eaten alive by those things. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that, that DSL 20 is just awesome. You can do anything from super nice cleans and that all the way to like some real, real dirty, dirty is it crunchy foot tones. Is switch controllable? I believe so, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and it you is. That's the, MIDI. And you got the, uh, you can the, MIDI the Pento switch Triode switch yeah, thing as does. well. Yeah. You know, you can mm. kind of half yeah. the power and, and get that tone. Yeah, as well as really yeah. boost it up, but like I don't know, that thing's loud. Like, yeah, forty's really loud, but twenty's twenty loud enough just for me. Right. Yeah, just yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon, G? Um, you know what? You've 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 uh, surprised me with this, mate. Um, I do like DSLs. Like, mm. they're, like they're really good. Um, Vox is nice too. I just don't know if I don't know if uh, if I'm going to play in a covers band without like a distortion pedal or anything. Whether the Vox would break up enough for me. Yeah. Um, like, so I would probably say maybe, maybe either the DSL or maybe a, a Blues Junior or mm. a, or a Hot Rod Deluxe. Hot Rod Deluxe and the Fender. Yeah, they're hard to beat. Really cool. Um, yeah, just that just that little bit of extra gain mm. I find. Yeah. Um, on the Fenders and obviously the Marshall will give you plenty of gain. Just thinking about, you know, I don't know, the Vox got such a nice sound though, yeah. clean, like if you're going to plug like a Strat into it and, and play those nice spanky covers, if mm. you're doing like, I don't know, Jamiroquai or, yeah, yeah. or whatever, you know, like, so it's a bit of a tough one there, but I would probably say I'd lean towards a Fender. Yeah. Just, yep. just Hot Rod Deluxe, nice gain to it mm. and, and also quite a nice clean sound. Yeah. Too. 
Yeah, yeah. One of those base breakers that that uh, would do the job as well. That's yeah. true. Oh yeah, actually. Like that forty-five, actually, forty-five base breaker. Now you say the base breaker. We've been we've been yeah. doing a few of those uh, yeah, late last that'd, year. That'd get you no, over the line. Get that's you over really the bloody really line. <laughs> that, that, had, that had actually a really <laughs> nice distortion. To it breaks it. up just right. Yeah. It breaks up different to what. Um, yeah. Like those hot rods and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's do. almost like a little bit like the mids are scooped a little more on yeah. or something. Like it's just got that cr- little bit of a creamier kind of yep. overdrive distortion. Yep. Um, just a little bit smoother. So, I yeah, I probably have to. To be honest, yeah. I've sold him on it. I'm the best salesman um, ever. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I just remember we've done a few uh, Facebook lives yeah, and I've used that and I've been yeah, like, this amp is really, really good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, what about you, Chip? DSL forty. Yeah, done. There mm. you go. Can't go wrong. Can't go yeah. wrong. People are all people are overhearing it. Yeah. Can't bloody go wrong with it. Yeah. 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 Good cool. old Marshall. Yeah. Um, nice. Awesome. That's good. Sick. All right. Cool. Now thanks. Thanks for telling us about Ibanez stuff, yeah. Nick. Yeah. I'm Nick. excited. Yeah. Thanks for coming over. I can't mate. wait to get it. Yeah. Gonna do. We'll have video reviews and everything up as soon as they land and that yeah. sort of stuff for all our mm. for all our. It's um, gonna be exciting. A couple of weeks because we got some some cool new stuff coming Heaps in. Cool new so stuff, we'll be doing yeah. some good some good videos yeah. and we'll have to do some Facebook live videos yeah. with all these new these new sure. products coming yeah. in. So make sure you stay tuned to our Facebook guys. Facebook.com forward slash Hayworth Guitars. Subscribe on YouTube if you want to see all these videos that we do as well. Yeah, we're doing YouTube live. Right yep. now, right now, people are watching us right now. People could see us. They Lucky can. I didn't pick my nose. Yeah, yeah that's right, mate. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That's right. Show them your yeah. calves. Yeah, <laughs> Show them your calves on YouTube. Oh! They're big. Yeah. Huge. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have some. Uh, we're gonna do some Charvel reviews right now. Ah, cool. Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. New, new Charvels. Got a couple Just of nice up. white Charvels over yeah, there. Yeah, so that's right. We're about to review. Whitey, so white. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's it. You got anything else? You know what? Like, you know, we haven't been doing a lot of music for the mind. I think we've. We're, we're, everyone knows we love music and the benefits and, and we've been going over it a lot what I'd probably like to do is just ask Nick since since Nick is a bit of a guest today yeah. what's what's your favourite benefits of music what do you get out of music <clears throat> I think it's uh, it's good, good for question. his calf workouts yeah look at <laughs> when I'm doing those like that leg day it's just like yeah. putting on some Rage Against the Machine yeah. or something just get me going no I think it just um, I think it's just something that's suitable in every situation in life I don't think I don't think there's anything you could do Every situation. Pretty much every situation. You could have yeah. music in pretty much any situation. Well, if you can and have it at I a funeral, like if you can have it at a funeral and a wedding. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think I feel like it's just suitable for all all situations in life. Yeah. Um, and you can always find something like is there so you know obviously it's, there's endless possibilities with it. You know you can always yeah. find something that's that's suitable for whatever you're doing, whatever you're yeah. feeling. You know. Yeah. What about even in the shop over there? Yeah. You notice when the music's not playing. Yeah. That's right. Quiet, exactly. And yeah. it's just. It's awkward. It's scary. It's, yeah. it's almost like like get like I'm always get some music on. Yeah, guys. that's right. Yeah. It's yeah. like a library. The vibe? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that's all you need to do. If, if you just had nothing else, if you want to put on a party or if you wanted to uh, create a vibe at a wedding or in a shop, the main thing really probably has to be music. Mm. Oh yeah, hundred like, percent. Like, like that's that's kind of like one of the main settling things that settles people yeah. in to this shopping experience and mm. to into a new place where they've never been before or people they've never seen before. You've got music right. on, you know the right kind of music. Yeah. Then it's it's, it's it just settles people in, makes yeah. them feel more comfortable, creates a good vibe, good atmosphere. Yeah, it's, it's huge, just yeah, that's it. It's just that's why I'm, and I'm always mm. calling when I call up, mm. check in on the shop and mm. everything. You guys, put me on hold. We used to have this hold music, and we haven't had hold music. Oh, where's the hold music going? I don't know where it's going, Chips. I keep Ask asking Raph. Nick. I'm like, Nick, oh, I keep what? asking where's Raph? the hold music? Don't blame me. It's Raph. like I'm waiting. I don't know how to put. And, it, and it's so it's like snack pouch. We used, have, we used to have like Mac Tango and yeah. snack pouch. That Mac Tango band. Yeah, that's yeah. right. What happened to them? So <laughs> so lazy. <yeah. laughs> so um, uh, did you end up getting it working or not? I asked what's, Raph. What's, you asked Raph. <laughs> I'm, I'm always... just gonna throw him under the bus live on uh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's get that whole music going. Yeah, because it, it, it's or at like, least I sing, mean, at least sing through the phone. Yeah, I'm while, just going like, to pop you on hold. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. hold and then just start singing and <laughs> while you're typing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so apologies everyone for not having hold music, but it is important. Isn't yeah, it, it is important. totally every yeah. situation, even when you're on hold. We're going to get yeah. it going. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Here get up today. Uh, and, and, today. Yeah, talk to rap. Someone, Nick. yeah, someone talk call to up today, and, and I'll pop you on hold, and you can tell me what you think. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Later.